How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Series 11 has just been announced and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it. The festival playlist, all of the new cars, the new props, the bugs and fixes, the new Horizon story, just everything you need to know. So if you do enjoy this video guys and these videos are helpful, please do consider subscribing. I do news stuff all the time on Forza. Let's get into it. So this full series is Rami's racing history and every single week of this month it will be dedicated to a certain decade. So the 1970s, the 1980s, you get the gist. I'm gonna start off with the information about the full series itself. As you can see on screen, we've got two new cars for the series completion. For 80 points, you can get the BMW M4 Competition from 2021, that's the first new car. Or for 160 points, and this is quite difficult to get, you can get the second new car, which is a Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR. Now, these are both new cars, and the interesting thing is, you can actually buy the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR from the Auto Show. If you don't want to go and get 160 points on the festival playlist, you can just go and buy it. However, the twist is, it will cost you 140 million credits. That's right, 140 in-game million credits. If you want to buy that from the Auto Show, I think I'd just earn it if I were you. So those are the two new cars for the full series. Let's go to the first week, which is summer, which starts on the 18th of August. This week is all about cars that predate the 1970s. So for 20 points, you can get the third new car of this month, the Porsche 550 Spyder. And then for 40 points, not a new car, you can get the Maserati 8 CTF. And then the Forzathon shop for that week will have stuff like the Ferrari 250 TR, the Lamborghini Miura P400, Italy racing gloves and doodle summer skirt which will look particularly good on you know who. Here's a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that first week. Now on to the second week, which is autumn, which starts on August the 25th. This week is all about cars between 1970 and 1989, so the 1970s and 80s. For 20 points, you can get the next new car of this month, the HDT VK Commodore. And then for 40 points, the Toyota Trueno, which is not a new car, as I'm, as I'm sure you know. Forzathon shop for that second week has stuff like the Ferrari 288 GTO, the BMW M1, Japan racing gloves, and a, a helmet. I can't be bothered to read that out. Here are a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available for that second week. Now onto the third week, which is winter, which starts on September the 1st until September the 8th. This week is all about cars from between 1990 and 2009, so the 90s and the 2000s. For 20 points, you can get the fifth new car of this month, the Subaru Legacy RS. I quite like that car. And then for 40 points, the Jaguar XJ220, which is not a new car. The Forzathon shop for that third week will have the McLaren F1 GT, the Porsche 911 GT2, UK race gloves, and a fancy looking jacket. Here's a few screenshots of the rest of the challenges available that week. Now onto the fourth week, which is spring, which starts on September the 8th until September the 15th. This week is all about cars from 2010 onwards. So 20s, 2010s, you get the gist. For 20 points, you can get the sixth new car of this month, the Xpeng P7, which is a, I believe, a Chinese electric car. Pretty interesting. And then for 40 points, you can get the, the seventh new car. So there's two new cars this week. Um, the BMW M3 GTS, a car that we have been suspecting to come to the game for a few weeks, ever since it got leaked a couple of weeks ago. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. So yeah, two new cars that fourth week. Now onto the festival playlist for the fourth week, we have stuff like the Bugatti Devo, the Aston Martin Valhalla concept car, France racing gloves, and a pretty pattern bird dress. All the festival playlist that's all of the seven new cars now stick around because the Forza Thon shop has some exclusive deals on which i'm going to show you very shortly after i quickly talk about one of the new features or not really features there's new pr stunts there are going to be two new seasonal speed zones added to the game for this update the river run 
and Green Hills speed zones. Two new speed zones coming to Forza Horizon 5 as of this update, Series 11. Now for the discounts. Tommy's bargains are back. If you remember in Forza Horizon 4, two years ago, Tommy's bargains was a thing where we used to get really, really good discounts on the Forza Horizon shop for some exclusive cars. That is returning for this update. Every Wednesday, so one day before every week ends, before the Thursday changeover, there's going to be a classic Wednesday sale, just on that Wednesday for 24 hours, so you've got to be keen on it. So, on August the 24th, which is the Wednesday on the first week, this is what the Forza Land Shop deals will look like. You'll have the Ford GT40, the Bentley 8 litre, the Toyota 2000 GT and the Dodge Challenger. Now look how cheap these are. Just for 10 Forza Land points you can get the Dodge Challenger or for 50 Forza Land points you can get the Toyota 2000 GT. The, this is the Wednesday deals for the first week, which is summer, on August the 24th. Now on August the 31st, which is the second week Wednesday for autumn, I believe, this is what the Forza Land Shop will look like for 24 hours. The Ferrari California, the Porsche 356A1600 Super, Bugatti Type 35 and the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. The, both of them cars are 10 Forzathon points, so those are the deals on August the 31st, the Wednesday of the second week. Remember, it's only for 24 hours. Now the third week, which is September the 7th, I believe, this is what the Forzathon shop will look like on that Wednesday. The Jag, the Ford Escort, the Aston Martin DB5 and the Bentley Supercharged. Once again, really, really discounted prices. Pretty cool. Now the fourth and final week, which is the last Wednesday of the season, September the 14th, I believe that will be. This is the Forzathon shop. We're going to have the Porsche 917 LH, Ford Mustang Boss, the Cobra Shelby, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Coupe. Once again, very cheap prices if you want to snag any of those. So those will only be on for 24 hours on the dates I've told you on the Wednesday of each week. That is the Tommy Bargains of Season 11. More new stuff, there's a Horizon story which is going to be called Made in Mexico. This Horizon story will obviously release in Season 11. Ramiro invites you to take a tour of Mexico's rich heritage of automotive manufacturer and racing history. So it's all about sort of Mexican car culture, Mexican car history, eight chapters to the story coming out this or next Thursday, whenever the update's out. Now there's a few more things within the update worth mentioning. There are new props within the Event Lab Creator. New props have been added to the Event Lab Blueprint, Blueprint Builder, including eight smashable Extreme E billboards and eight smashable Extreme E flags. So not too exciting, but if you want more smashables, there are now Extreme E branded smashables within the Event Lab Builder. Pretty cool. Now for the bugs and fixes, a few little things that they've highlighted that I'm going to read out now. They have fixed an issue that caused players to load into the game with a different car to one that they were previously driving. I'll leave the screenshot of the fixes on screen, just roll for a second if you want to read through them. And another thing they pointed out is they have added support for the Thrustmaster T248X display. It's got a little display on the wheel, as you can see. They have added the in-game support for that, so it will now show the that it will now show the relative in-game information that it should right in front of you on the screen. As for Series 11, guys, that is pretty much everything. Now, I do need to cover something else. You may have seen my last video where we talked about the Donut Media DLC that was coming to the game, potentially in September, because that's what they said in their podcast. Now, it's worth noting they have actually re-uploaded their podcast and re basically reworded what they said. They did originally say that this Donut Media DLC was going to come out in September or August. The re-uploaded version now says this. Forza Horizon DLC. This Horizon story will be free content for anyone who has the base game. I can't tell you the full list of cars yet, but you will definitely be able to drive high and low car. It's coming out in Q4 of this year. Now this has given us a bit more information. The DLC that they speak of is not a DLC, it's not a car pack, it's a Horizon story. That's all it is. It will have some new cars that they said that we're going to be able to drive, but at the end of the day, it's just a Horizon story and it's free, so that's good to hear. And they also said that it's coming out in Q4. Q4 
is October, November or December. So it's not coming out in August, it's not coming out even in September, it's going to be August, November or December. So it might be series 13, series 14 when we get this Donut Media Horizon story, but as of now, that's everything we know. We shouldn't expect it in September. Anyway guys, please leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. Top notch, I'll see you all later.